Hi, everybody. Meteorologist Joe Chaffee here. Weather in five, five days and five minutes. Brought to you by Omni True Value Hardware at 1226 North Wellwood Avenue in West Babylon, New York. 631-756-1125 is the telephone number. And the website is omnitruevalue.com. Wholesale holiday lighting by Giannini, your complete holiday lighting specialist, meeting all your decorating needs. And if you are a contractor, they're having an open house, a holiday lighting open house free event on Tuesday, October 5th, uh, 2021 at 9 from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. So if you want to attend, uh, you can RSVP at their phone number on uh, 957 5106 They're at 162 Ocean Avenue in Lindenhurst, New York, or 164 Ocean Avenue right next door. And the website is liholidaylighting.com. All right, taking a look at the uh, satellite this morning, and we've got three players here. Uh, the uh, one uh, player uh, for the Northeast today is a cold front that is rolling down southeastward. And we also had that back door front yesterday drop down and stall out across central New Jersey, so it was cooler on one side and warmer on the other. Well, now that is pushing up to the Northeast, so uh, everybody is going to be very warm to borderline hot and humid today. It'll be a little bit cooler in southern New England, and it will be a little bit warmer southern Pennsylvania, southern New Jersey, and points south. So we're kind of setting up a zone here for severe weather. Uh, two areas to note, uh, the moisture, uh, actually uh, Nicholas, Tropical Depression Nicholas is, is uh, still hanging around. Uh, the center is in southwest Louisiana. Uh, part of the circulation remains over water, which is why it's still maintaining some winds of 35 miles an hour. That moisture continues to move to the east-northeast and is primarily going to stay in the deep south because this front is coming down. It's just going to kind of suppress it a little bit and I really don't think we're going to see anything as far as this moisture shooting up the eastern seaboard as far as an identifiable feature in the meantime we are watching carefully disturbed weather off the southeast coast of the United States that weather models are forecasting a low to develop uh, you can see from the satellite signature here you're getting a sort of arc look to it so uh, that's uh, you, a sign usually that a low is trying to form somewhere and we're going to take a look at this uh, later today, uh, the Hurricane Center uh, does have this as a 70% chance of becoming a tropical depression uh, in the next day or two. And I'll go to the models to show you what, what that means in terms of practical impact. Now, uh, as far as rainfall is concerned over the next seven days, you'll notice that there really isn't very much up and down the coastal plain. Uh, it's generally under a quarter of an inch. So this at least tells you that WPC, the Weather Prediction Center folks, think they think, and I agree with them, that the moisture from any kind of Atlantic low and the moisture from the uh, remnants of Nicholas are not going to make it up the eastern seaboard. Where you see this line of heavier precip from northern New England, southwestward across upstate New York, and through uh, central and northeastern Pennsylvania, and then down to south central PA and point southward, that reflects... A lot of that is that cold front that's coming through today, and it reflects primarily where the severe weather risk is uh, per, uh, per the Storm Prediction Center. Uh, marginal risk running from southeastern New England uh, to the south shore of Long Island, across southern New Jersey, except for the southern third, and that continues down to Washington and Baltimore and into northern Virginia. Meanwhile, you have slight risk indicated for uh, much of Pennsylvania, except the northwest and the southeast, and then that runs northeastward up into uh, interior New England, and there is tornado risk here. There's a 2% risk of tornadoes from northeastern Pennsylvania on up into southern Maine, and inside that, there's a 5% risk of tornadoes. And We've seen uh, the Storm Prediction Center actually has been pretty good with these risk areas as far as tornadoes has uh, 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 been concerned this summer. Uh, especially when they've had that 5% risk zone up there. It usually means that you're going to see at least a few spin-ups. But again, most of those will be up in New England. So as far as the day side goes today, the front is still a ways away. When we uh, check the radar, uh, the shower and thunderstorm activity in the Northeast is still way up. It hasn't really even uh, bubbled up yet uh, in upstate western New York and western PA. So we have all day long to deal with this. And in the meantime, you can see the rains from uh, the remnants of Nicholas 
uh, the tropical depression, Nicholas, uh, the circulation again still in southwest Louisiana, and you're seeing bands of rain now into Mississippi and Alabama, and those will move a little bit further to the northeast, but eventually this is just going to uh, rain itself out in the deep south. All right, running through the guidance here, uh, we uh, see the front approaching. This is at 8 o'clock this evening. You see where the GFS has the thunderstorms, and they are north and west of the coast. During the night, that front settles along the coast. It's going to stall uh, right, uh, right, over the, right along the immediate coast, down into the Appalachians. Uh, here's our Atlantic low that's starting to develop. You just barely can see the definable little low with Nicholas at the bottom of that frontal boundary. And because there's an upper ridge off the east coast uh, and not building back westward to force the Atlantic low further to the west, uh, we think it's a fairly good bet that this low is just going to slowly move northward and then northeastward with time. Now, for Thursday and Friday, that means that moisture is pinned along the coastal plain. There might be a few showers around on Thursday, uh, otherwise lots of clouds. Well, we may have to wait for this to get out of the way uh, before we see some real genuine improvement in the sky condition. So probably going to have clouds around. Uh, it, this is on uh, Friday afternoon. The low is sitting uh, off the uh, coast here, uh, not too far offshore, probably kicking up the surf a little bit. But again, we think that it's, it's going, even if it does develop into a tropical depression or even a tropical storm, uh, it should follow a track and keep it uh, offshore. Uh, it's a question of getting the low out of the way to finally allow high pressure to build in. That should happen uh, over the weekend. So I'm still thinking the weekend will be pretty good. No real break in the high humidity is in the cards. And by the way, we do see the model spinning up something else early next week off the southeast coast of the United States. So this very busy hurricane season certainly continues uh, with, uh, uh, we have a good solid month to go of uh, maybe high-end activity before things start to slow down as we get into the, uh, the middle of October. Weather in 5, brought to you by Wholesale Holiday Lighting by Giannini uh, at 162 Ocean Avenue in Lindenhurst, New York. 631-957-5106 is the phone number. The website is liholidaylighting.com. And Omni True Value Hardware at 1226 North Wellwood Avenue in West Babylon, New York. 631-756-1125, the phone number there. And the website is omnitruevalue.com. Just a, a look here. I just want to give a quick look uh, this morning. Uh, you can see where the uh, weather front, the war yesterday's cold front has now moved up to the northeast. Uh, and we're definitely in that warm sector. So we're going to pay attention to severe weather risks. As far as the Hurricane Center is concerned on their latest forecasts, uh, let's see. This is the new one uh, as of 8 a.m. Uh, they really haven't changed the wording very much regarding the Atlantic disturbance, a 60% probability of development in the next uh, 48 hours, and a 70% uh, probability of development in the next five days. Another system's off the African coast moving slowly westward, and here they have an 80 and 90% chance as this system is uh, getting better organized. So we could have two, uh, two depressions or even two tropical storms here uh, on the maps again before the weekend uh, arrives. All right, Joe and Joe Weather Show, folks. That's coming up tonight at 7.30 Eastern Time. Uh, so hopefully you will join us on my YouTube channel, Joe Chaffee. Have a great day.